at Sherry with our praising paws. And as you guys are probably well aware, we try to do right by our pets every single day. And one way that we do that is by providing them whole nutritional foods and treats. So stick around because today we're going to be making scotched eggs. So in making scotched eggs, one of the first things that you want to obviously start out doing is by boiling as many eggs as you are going to make. I boiled five here and I actually boiled these for five and a half minutes. And I started to peel these. I put them in an ice bath once they were done boiling. And you can see that if I just push on this slightly, it has a whole lot of give still in it. The reason why we only boiled this for five and a half minutes is because we're actually gonna coat it with some meat and then we're gonna bake them. And we don't want the inside yolk to be well, well overdone. So I didn't boil these too long and they still have a whole lot of give in there. If you were to poke your finger through this, the yolk would be very much runny. So we're just gonna go ahead and peel these and then we'll move on to the next step. And sometimes it's not perfect getting the shell off. I actually am really bad about that, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna be covered by meat anyway. So there's one, we'll get a plate. one came out really nice. This one is suffering. <laughs> Another good one. Okay, so now that we're all done peeling the eggs, I'm gonna take these shells over here and we will start assembling the outer shell of these scotched eggs. Okay, so now we are going to assemble the outer shell of these scotched eggs. Typical scotched eggs actually have the meat shell around the egg and then they're also battered and deep fried. But we wanna do this as healthy as possible for our pets. So what we're actually gonna do is we're just gonna coat the outside of the egg with the meat and we're gonna put them on a baking sheet right here that I have. And I've had some parchment paper put on this and we're gonna put them in the oven and bake them. I've actually already started to preheat my oven at 350 degrees. So while that's preheating, we're gonna go ahead and start assembling these. And I'm gonna take off my ring because this is gonna get messy. So we're just gonna put a little bit of salt, like a pinch. I'm just gonna get a little bit in my hand. A very, very small amount of salt in here. You don't wanna to give too much salt to your pet. So we're just gonna do a small amount. And then we're gonna add some dried Italian parsley. I actually grew this last year and dried it myself. So this is some Italian parsley from my garden. So we're gonna add that in there. And then we're just gonna start mixing this up with our hands. And this meat is actually venison. We had some venison in our freezer, much like the other issue we had with the pheasant. This had been in there just for a little bit longer than what was my husband and my liking. So we thought it'd be great to make a treat for them. And I wanted to do something a bit different. So I was like, I'm gonna try to attempt to make these scotched eggs. I'm actually going to add an egg into the venison mixture to help with binding the ingredients around the outside egg. So we're gonna mush this up and incorporated really well together. And this should help us be able to bind the venison around the egg. Okay. So I'm gonna form like a little bit of a well here. And start molding. The rest of the sausage around it. There, that's much better. So as you can see, these are quite large and we are calling these treats, but in actuality, I would make this an additive to their meal. Now this is not a complete diet. This can't be just their meal because there are 
vitamins and minerals that need to be added to this. They will love adding this to their kibble. So now this is a complete nice sphere. We're gonna go ahead and set this on the baking sheet. And we'll go ahead to the next one. Use the pretty eggs. Now we don't have much left. I don't necessarily think this is going to be quite enough for one egg, but we will see what we can do. Maybe make this one quite a bit thinner. And if I can attempt this, that means that I probably made the other ones way too big, <laughs> which is kind of is maybe appearing that way. So we might actually try to redo those. You just want to make sure that it's all covered up around the egg. Yeah, I had too much around that. The idea is just to cover the egg with the meat. If you wanted to make some big ones like that, you definitely could. But I think we're just going to try to make them a bit smaller. I think this might be enough for one more. Let's see how this works out. I'm just trying to fold that meat around that egg as much as I possibly can. Bind it all together. All right. So as you guys can see here, we have four of the scotched eggs. Again, we're not gonna bread the outside because we wanna make this as healthy as possible. And we're just gonna bake these in the oven until the meat is almost cooked all the way through. So my oven is currently at 350 degrees. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven and get them to baking. We're gonna check on these. I've been checking on them periodically and I've noticed that some of them actually were not turning out that great. As you can see, I think the consistency around the egg is very important. It probably would have helped if I added one more egg to the meat combination, but you can see how it started breaking away here and here. This one's not so bad, and it looks like one of the yolks broke um, inside. But again, you guys, they don't have to be perfect. This was so much fun, and the dogs are going to love them no matter what. So again, you guys, I did want to remind you that this is considered just a treat. There are some essential vitamins and nutrients that are very important to your dog's diet and that they are lacking in this treat. So I just wanted to remind you, it's just a treat. It's not gonna be considered a complete meal. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed us making these scotched egg treats for your dog and I hope that you're encouraged to try to do it at home on your own. And it's okay if they don't turn out perfectly. Thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll catch up with you in the next one. Bye.